There's four types of hyperlinks that we're going to look at creating within Microsoft Word. An external website link, an email link, a link to other documents, Word or Excel, whatever, and a link to a place within this document. Let's start off with external website links. Now, if your website address is really simple, like this, then just type it in to your Word document. And when you put a space after that web address, it will automatically create a hyperlink. And to use that hyperlink, just control, click on it. Now, this method isn't gonna work if the URL or the web page address is too complicated to type in. For example, this page here, Microsoft's website about creating a hyperlink or editing a hyperlink, has a page address that's far too complicated to type out. So what you would do is you find this page on the internet, then click up in the address bar, which should select the address, copy it, control C, back to your Word document. And then you probably want to type some text to act as the hyperlink for this web page. So I've typed some text there, which I'll select. And then to create the hyperlink, you've got various options. You could go insert link, which will open up this dialog box, or you could right click on the text that you selected, link. That also opens up the dialog box or use the shortcut key control K. So what you want to do down the side here is make sure this option is selected, existing file or web page, and then click in your little address box down here, control V, paste in that web page address, click on OK. And now this will act as a hyperlink to that page, control click, it'll open up the page. Now you may have noticed that when I hovered over this hyperlink, it does show the actual page address in the screen tip. And you can replace that, it looks quite ugly. So if I right click on this link and go to edit hyperlink, and I can create a screen tip. Microsoft's page on creating and editing hyperlinks. So now if I hover over that hyperlink, I think that looks a lot smarter. So that's links to external websites. But let's now look at creating email links. So the easiest way to do this is again, just to type in the email address and then to put a space after that email address and it automatically creates the hyperlink. If you control click on it, it will open up your default email application with an email automatically addressed to that email address. Now, if you wanted to put a subject line in your email address, automatically that is, I close this down. If you right click on your hyperlink, hit edit hyperlink and put a subject line in here. Great video on Word hyperlinks. So you click on OK. Now if I control click, that subject line automatically appears in any new email created with that hyperlink. Now the other thing you might want to do is use specific text for your email hyperlink. For example, down here I've got email us. So what I would do is I'd select that text and then to create the hyperlink, you can use any of the methods that I've shown you previously. For example, insert link, right click link, or control K. Now you need to make sure that you're in the email address section of this dialog box. So click on this option down here, and then you type your email address in the email address box. And you'll notice that when you start typing, it automatically prefixes the email address with mail to colon. Please leave that in there, otherwise it won't work. And then you can put a subject line in if required. I'll just click on OK. And this again will work as a hyperlink. Okay, so that's email hyperlinks. 
let's link to other documents. So I have a related document that I want to link to, and I have some text ready to act as the link for this document. So I'd select it and then control K or any of the other methods to create a hyperlink. And you want to click back on this button, existing file or web page. Now it will automatically look in the current folder, the folder that this Word document is saved in, but you might need to browse for the particular folder that this other document is stored in. So if you need to do that, you can click on this little drop down and search through your folder system on your PC. Anyway, I want to link to this document here. So I would select it and then click on OK. And again, if I control click on this hyperlink, it will open up that other document. If you don't like the screen tip that it's creating, remember what to do, you right click on the hyperlink, edit hyperlink, go to screen tip, and you might type in something like further reading. If I hover over that hyperlink now, you can see that it's a lot neater to read. Okay, let's move on to the fourth type of hyperlink, linking to a place within this document. Now, I have a little bit of text down here, see below for further information. So what I want to do is link to this final paragraph at the bottom here. Let's just type conclusion as my heading. Now what I would do is I would create a bookmark for this area of the document. So I can do that by either clicking where I want the bookmark or selecting the paragraph that I want to bookmark. Now once I've done that, I need to create the bookmark. So I'd go to the insert tab on the ribbon and then over to the bookmark button and I need to give the bookmark a name. So I'll just call this conclusion. Cannot have a space in a bookmark name. I'll click on add and then I'll go back to that text that I wanted to act as the hyperlink. Now I'll select that text and then insert a link. Go to place in this document down the side here and here it will list all the bookmarks I have in the document. So I can select my bookmark, click on OK. And now if I control click on this hyperlink, it will take me down to the bookmark. You may not see these square brackets around the bookmark area. Don't worry, they won't actually print out. Now, the other thing you might want to think about is the formatting of your hyperlinks. By default, you probably noticed that the hyperlinks were formatted with a blue font. But once I actually clicked on them, once I followed the hyperlinks, the font was formatted with this purple color. Now, if you want to reinstate the blue color, say for this link here, what you would do is you'd select the link and then reinstate it. So all I would need to do is go insert link and then just click on OK and you get back to your blue color. However, what you could do is format your hyperlinks so they appear with a different color. Now to do that, go to the home tab on your ribbon and what you want to do in the styles group is click on this little launcher button. And in this list, you should see an option for hyperlinks. Now, if you go to the little drop down to the right of the hyperlink style, you can go to modify. And here you can change the color of the hyperlink or set any other formatting attributes that you want to. So for example, if I wanted my hyperlinks to be green, I'd click on this little drop down for font color. Select the green color, click on OK, and all hyperlinks now that I haven't followed would be green. Now I can change the formatting for followed hyperlinks as well. To do that, you'd need to go down to this Manage Styles button, and you'd need to look for the style called Followed Hyperlink. Now, if I change this to alphabetical, scroll through this list, there's Followed Hyperlink. And I could modify it and say I wanted this to be yellow. Click on OK, click on OK, 
and now the followed hyperlinks appear in yellow. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.